First largest shark is the uh, whale shark. Second largest is the bass king, and the third largest is the dreaded great white. Making one tiger or uh, other killers that are after that are after the size in of the great white. <sighs> white tip sharks, black tip sharks, and blue sharks usually come in schools when there's chum thrown in the water. They start a feeding frenzy, gobbling everything up in sight. Another dreaded killer is the bull shark. It can switch from fresh water to salt water anytime. And it attacks people in rivers too. I'm gonna tell you about a shark attack. Once upon a time, there was a little boy dunking for shells with his 11-year-old brother when a shark grabbed hold of the little kid's thigh. The brother ran over and tried to grab the shark's tail. The shark flipped around and grabbed and locked its jaw on the brother's face. The uncle saw this and came running to the scene. When he got there, the shark disappeared. Then turned around, grabbed the uncle by the back of the spine. and killed them eventually. Other sharks came. The two kids were too hurt to get out of the water. Everyone was too scared to save them. So other sharks came and started a feeding frenzy right at the beach. They shredded the carcass of the uncle, the brother, and the little boy. So that's the end of this true story. Another story is that an elephant stampeded into the sea at Kenya, Africa. Word expected to find fresh water in the mainlands. The elephant never made it. Huge sharks ranged around it in a feeding frenzy, shredding it to bits. And that's just one of the gruesome stories that happens to the animals when they go into the water. Here's a story about Australian 20-foot great white against a 6-foot kangaroo. Kangaroo stampeded into the water for some to get a drink. All of a sudden a huge shark came, grabbed the kangaroo by its legs. The kangaroo jumped in horror couldn't make it in time. His legs were chopped off. All that was left was stubs of legs and blood coming out of it. Meanwhile, other great whites sensed the blood and made their way to the scene. They shredded the carcass of that kangaroo. Each one of them took a fair share of the kangaroo until it was all gone. Now in a minute, I'm going to tell you about a couple of sharks. Just hold on. Okay, here we go. Great white shark, or man-eater, is found in warm and temperate waters in many parts of the world. A ferocious animal, it is known to attack and kill human beings without prov provocation. It feeds in a number of large animals, both fishes and marine mammals. Seals, tuna, and similar prey have been found in the stomach of one of these vicious killers. The man eater is a large, powerful animal, averaging more than 15 feet in length and weighing up to 6,000 or 7,000 pounds. As in the sand shark, the young have developed fully in the body of the mother and water at one time. The sand shark is a medium-sized shark, averaging about six feet in length. Averaging about six feet in length. It's fairly common in the Atlantic Ocean. It's not an aggressive animal. 
although it has a flat, frightening appearance. It feeds on smaller fishes and has not been known to attack human beings in the water. Its eggs are fertilized entirely in the young sharks develop fully in the body of the mother and are born alive. A relative of the sand shark lives in Australia. The nurse shark does attack swimmers and cause a number of deaths. The dogfish shark is a smaller shark. It's very common, common in northern coastal waters of America and Europe. It has been long studied in biological laboratories. It is about two and a half feet in length and has a typical shark appearance. It feeds on smaller fishes and invertebrates such as crabs, mollusks, mollusks and young develop in the mother's body. Another species of dogfish, the egg is laid in a horny egg capsule surrounding it and development occurs within this capsule. The whale shark is not only the largest fish but the largest I meant. The whale shark is not only the largest shark but the largest of all fishes. One cat one captured whale shark measures forty five feet in length and weighed more than thirteen tons. Although a large and forbidding in appearance, the whale shark is an aggressive a animal and feeds entirely on small fishes with red eyes, which is, consumes in large quantities. Swooping sharks are inhabitants of the Pacific waters has long been used by Oriental peoples. Fins are removed, dried, and made to make a nutritious soup. In 1930s, it was discovered that the liver of these sharks contain usually large amounts of concentrated vitamin A, but far the richest source of this valuable chem chemical substance. This discovery resulted in chemical, chemical tests. Widespread hunts for super sharks and they were caught for their fins. They cut off the fins and let them go. Eventually, the sharks lived without the fins. Sometimes they use for their livers. The result of their numbers for their livers have been severely reduced. And that's what I have to say about the sharks. Ah. Uh, just hold on a second, I have to tell you another story, okay? The basking shark is a large and very scary looking shark. The basking shark is real scary looking. As I said, it feeds entirely on plankton and will not attack a human or a fish larger than three inches because its throat isn't big enough. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Basking sharks have a ooze on their body that covers their skin and it has foul odors on it too not very good to smell it you can get seasick sometimes people mistake it for ambergris and they bring it in because they think it's ambergris but of course it's only whale shark skin ooze. Although the basking shark did kill a human and attack a boat too. Want to hear how? Well, it didn't actually eat them though, but here's the story. Once upon a time, there were a couple of people in a yacht, riding along in their yacht, enjoying themselves when a huge basking shark leaped out of the water and landed right on top of the yacht and cracked it in half. The people were killed and there was a foul smelling 
ooze on the boat, which eventually was what I said before, covering on its skin. As I was saying, everyone got killed and the sharks came to the scene. Of course, it had a huge splash. They killed the basking shark, those other sharks. So demolished the people and took some pieces from the boat. Later, one shark was caught and was found with a person inside hole. The person has been dead for an hour already. That means the basking shark didn't actually kill that one person. But the other dangerous sharks did. The rest of the tape is going to be based on stories. All sharks, I mean almost all sharks are dangerous. But most of them are harmless. About 250 kinds are harmless and only about 30 kinds are dangerous. You want to know why the Mako? Oh, yeah, hold on a minute. I didn't tell you about the Mako and Target, did I? No, I don't think so. Well, I'll tell you about them now. The Mako is a shark found mostly off Bimini in the Bahamas and off Montauk Point. This shark is very powerful and can swim up 60 miles per hour, that's the fastest shark in the world, the Mako. Its, it's brother is the tiger. The tiger has notched teeth and, is, and com, comes and kills many people around Hawaii and the islands. Hardly any tiger attacks are on America, but they are in a very warm coastal tropics waters. The bull shark is a shark that can switch from fresh water to salt water and comes in bays and if you fall off a dock with a whole bunch of blood. Chum, like if you have chopped up fish or if you chopped up a fish, if you're holding it in your hand, it fell in the water off the dock and it's real deep water. You're liable to get killed by a bull shark, so they can kill you too. The nurse shark, once said to be harmless by scientists, and now is one on the other side, it's known to be the killer shark. This shark can kill you if you bother it. If you leave it alone, it won't bother you. Once the swimmer was showing off to his friends and grabbed the nurse shark by the tail, the nurse shark turned around and killed him. Good story, huh? And if you're in the water, uh, like skin down or something, you should never hold a struggling, bleeding fish in your hand. So the shark picks that up, picks the senses, senses up, he has very good senses. His, his nose and his eyes and his ears, he can hear the fish struggling. Nose smells the blood and he zeroes in on the fish. And he thinks you're the fish eventually. So he aims at you. You're liable to get killed. If you ever are about to get attacked by a shark, you should fight with any weapons on his nose. Usually that never works, but sometimes it does. At least it's a try. You should never run out of the water on the shark's there. Because he'll chase you, chase you down. Maybe, if you're in not very deep water, you could struggle out and get away with a bite get a couple of bites and stay in. Feeding frenzy. 
but I'd much rather run out, <laughs> wouldn't you? I have a shock to a wrap on my shelf. I'm gonna go get it. Nah, how can I show a shock on a tape recorder? Oh, easily. I can tell. I can make a description of Blue Shark. Blue Shark has extremely long pectoral fin, a medium sized dorsal fin, a nice length primordial fin, and it's not very aggressive but does attack humans. White tip sharks, black tip sharks, those sharks come in schools and start feeding friendlies. I think I told you that before. Uh, let me see, let me see. Just hold a second. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Uh, shark, small shark, it's called a door shark with a long face, it only grows about four inches. That thing could bite off a finger though. Right. If you get attacked by one of those, you're most likely to survive. But if you're bitten by the artery, you can get killed by a four inch shark. Imagine that. Or imagine great white shark, 36 foot, 36 foot compared to a four incher. That would be a pretty good s skill. That thing would be plankton to it. It would be like plankton to me. <laughs> or, small shark in the world, to the third largest. Or how about the bears can be the largest of the whales? <laughs> Funny sharks are really big. Some are really small. Oh, as I was saying, I was gonna make a whole story the rest of the uh, time. Stupid ice cream man's coming up the block. Who cares about him? I'm talking about sharks now. Shark bites down 15 tons per square inch. That's for the dusky shark. Dusky shark has the hardest bite than any other shark. Dusky shark has 15 tons per square inch bite. Great white is a couple of thousand pounds. Other sharks are just like the other sharks are not very strong jaw like the tiger shark. I wouldn't say not very strong. I'd say about medium. Of course, the tiger shark has a jaw with about 200 pounds per square inch. The mako, the same. So it's just like a 2,000 pound crane going on top of a little kid. That's what it would be like getting bit by one of those things. It stings when you they bite you. Most of the people die. Oh. Lots of people get killed by sharks every year. There are odd things found in shark stomachs. Thousands of pounds of forced meat found in ten sharks. Thousands of pounds of forced meat. Wow. Well, how about pigs, dogs, cats, cans, buckets, people, mm -hmm. dolphin's heads, 
killer whale fins are the sharks, chunks out of a whale, octopus, giant squid, crabs found inside the stomach sometimes, plankton of course. <laughs> What's found on them lamps, old lamps, sometimes even old tires. You have to have a big jaw to eat old tires. License plates, fish, uh, let's see, sometimes even aeroplane wings. Half of an airplane, part of it or whatever. Maybe even a uh, ship's rudder, or a ship's propeller, or an oar, or a piece of a boat. Shark, shark stomachs. Lots of this stuff. Sneakers, wallets, old pants. None of it gets uh, digested. It just stays in your stomach for a couple of days and then just gets spooshed out somewhere else. The strongest of all sharks is the great white. And it's also the largest killer shark. The great white grows 36 feet in length. It can kill a man any day. That was in a fight with a killer whale. Great white shark can kill a killer whale. <laughs> it's believable. Sometimes dolphins can kill a killer whale. Dolphins can kill a shark. But sometimes, or well, most of the time, the shark will be smart enough to kill the dolphin. Shark, see the dolphin coming out, so it can make a quick, sharp turn because the body is made out of cartilage, so it can make a better sharp turn than any other fish. It turns around, snaps at the dolphin's head, and that's how they got to the stomach of them. Sometimes, if a dolphin goes inside a whale shark, Shark's mouth, the whale shark will die because the dolphin will get caught and cut up in the gill rakers and stuff. <laughs> People ride on top of whale sharks because they're so nice. People, old mackerel. Tape is running a little bit low, so I have to make this very quick. So, uh, Oh, let me yawn first. So I'm laying down over here. My mouth is dry. I feel like a piece of nothing today. Anyway. Shark. Uh, mm. I love sharks. I have poses of them. They're nice. I like sharks. Sharks are in many ways beautiful. Tiger shark has nice stripes on him. Great white is white on his belly and has nice teeth and nice red gums. Mako is a fast, swift swimmer. Little shark has checkerboard spots on it. Basking shark is very big. It has a really big stomach. Sand shark has teeth bugged out, ready to eat. Store shark with long face is real small. Dog for sharks are real pretty. Cause they're usually all white.
love sharks more than any other thing in this world. Sharks are very strong, very, sometimes very rare. One kind of shark is very, very rare. Goblin shark, which has a sword coming from its forehead and teeth too. Found all, the only specimen caught was in China. Still more has to be caught to find out more about them. Sharks could be nice. Sharks could be mean. When you hear the word shark, you think of death, killings, and stuff. But only about 30 kinds of dangerous. 250 kinds are harmless, and most of them are small. Very small. At least about 10 of the harmless said to be harmless could be dangerous. One is the best in shark I know. Well shark can catch a person and go away. Can catch sharks I don't know about. If the couple could be dangerous in a way. But not I could man eat and stuff. Not their habit though. That's why they're called harmless. No shark about month ago, I switched from the harmless shark label to the killer shark label. Now, the nurse shark is one of the killers. All because a couple of people thought to show off by grabbing its tail. Just couldn't leave it alone. The pressure shark has an extremely long tail. Ten feet long its tail is. Body is 10 feet, so that equals up to 20 feet in all. But it's not dangerous to a human. It's on a harmless shark label, I think. Of course, it uses its long tail to swish fish into a pile and just gobble them every piece up. It whips the fish until they're numb, and then eats it. And sharks usually, sharks bite people's legs and they sometimes swim backwards and rip off all the skin from their leg and the muscles off the leg leaving a bone on the leg, bare bone. Feels disgusting, yeah. A shark is not a real mean creature. Just a fish. But it kills people. It kills anything it wants. It can kill anything on this earth. Birds have even been found in the stomachs of sharks. Seabirds. Weird things. Ships that have gone down, airplanes that have gone down, cars that had no brakes and went off the docks were attacked by sharks. All different kinds. Sharks could be big, sharks could be small, sharks could be medium, sharks could be dangerous, sharks could be unpredictable, sharks could be predictable. Sharks are everything. Sharks. Everything anybody can ever know. You can't hear a shark. A shark doesn't make any noise. Yes, it does. Some people think a shark doesn't make noise, but it does. Wait, 
way he makes it sound like this. The tiger's rock makes it sound like this. What other noises? Well, shark makes sounds like whales. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 